Hi, my name is Cindy Costales. I'm a senior librarian at the Monterey Park Brugamar Library. I'm here today with Winston Wu from the Chinese American Citizens Alliance. We're talking today about our exhibit, Democracy and Diversity, uh, that is here at the library through the month of December. Um, it's actually part of a big project that the library had with the California Reads uh, grant where we had a searching for democracy initiative uh, theme that we used and what was great about this project is that we read books, we looked at films, we talked about democracy and we also had several wonderful exhibits of student art that also were featuring this theme of searching for democracy and on various levels. So Winston's going to tell us a little bit about uh, those different projects that we worked with, with the student artwork that was uh, through the Chinese American Citizens Alliance. Yes, Cindy, thank you. Uh, we actually started uh, this a little over a year ago in September 2011 with our first exhibit uh, entitled Festival and Celebration of Chinese Americans. That was our first art contest. And we got such good feedback that we decided to do more. And then uh, basically also in conjunction with the celebration of the centennial of our three chapters, uh, San Francisco, Oakland, and Los Angeles. Our national organization was founded 117 years ago, but the uh, three chapters were founded 100 years ago. So we decided to do a series of arts ex exhibit to commemorate the centennial. Uh, then the second one we did uh, was in Chinese New Year around the end of January. Uh, uh, basically a Chinese New Year's painting by the students. And then back, back in May to celebrate the uh, Heritage Month, Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, uh, we did the Chinese Animal Zodiac set. And then sometime this summer we did the Growing Up Chinese American and then now in conjunction with the general election coming up uh, in a couple of weeks on November 6, uh, we decided to exhibit this democracy and diversity. Uh, and also we are about a month away from kicking off our next contest. And the theme is gonna be moment in your family history. So it's a very generic topic that I'm sure uh, our, our students can be able to draw on. Uh, our contest is open from kindergarten to 12th grade, divided into four divisions with prizes in each division, 300 200 and $100. And then we have two $500 grand prize, uh, one for the two upper divisions and one for the two younger divisions. Uh, so information will be forthcoming the end of November, and we hope that uh, we have many entries from that contest. Well, that's exciting news because we really enjoy displaying and exhibiting uh, this student artwork um, that the Chinese American Citizens Alliance brings to the library. Um, it's just been very exciting to work it into our grant, the California Reads Project. And this last one that you had that we currently have uh, on display in the library, the theme Democracy and Diversity, just fit perfectly. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about um, some of the paintings that we have here. Okay, Cindy, uh, to start off with this top one, uh, it's called Anticipation. Uh, it's done by a high school student from Fairfax High School. And basically, uh, she is leaving one country, going to another. Uh, that's, the title is called Anticipation. And she is full of hope. As a matter of fact, she kind of ended uh, with a poem that she may, that she will find the ray of light. She escaped from the bondage that held her tight. Her heart beats fast in eagerness to see and longing to be. So she's really looking forward to uh, go to the new country uh, or possibilities of uh, maybe diversity, uh, something unlike what she came from. Um, it's interesting that a lot of the paintings uh, range from kindergarten through high school. And this particular student, because she's in high school, she really captured the anxiety, 
that a new immigrant might have uh, coming to a new country. She really ca captured all of those different feelings with this. Uh, you can see it in her face. Uh, and then another different painting is the one beneath that. It's done by an uh, 11th grader. Uh, now, this is entirely different. Th this is called Breaking Free. Uh, as you can see, we have a man, uh, basically a universal man wearing flags as, uh, from all over the world as her, uh, his costume. And, but she, he is chained. And you can see words like racism, prejudice, uh, and other words in there. But he's trying to break the chain. And then by that action, it's kind of allow lights to go in and allow flowers to come out. So, so a lot of hopefulness in that, in that uh, painting. It's amazing all of the thought and symbolism that goes into uh, this work that the students uh, bring to us. We're going to next look at some um, paintings that actually have something in common. Um, they have a, a road, a road or, that leads us to a journey. Yeah, I don't really know whether, whether it's a road or, or a stream or river, but, but anyway, the, this picture uh, is done by an eighth grader. Uh, basically, it started with the uh, black and white in the colonial days uh, with George Washington and then all the way uh, to the modern days of modern structure with steel, glass and concrete. And along the way, you can see uh, some of the diverse uh, celebrities that we have, uh, Condoleezza Rice, uh, former President Lincoln and, uh, and Kennedy, and then with Barack Obama in the middle. So, so again, there's a lot of thought that went into the painting. This uh, next painting that we have is one of my favorites um, because I feel like it really seems to capture diversity. Uh, and I like the use of a puzzle, bring, uh, you know, building America together. Well, basically, it's, uh, now this is, again, done by an eighth grader. Uh, but it's a map of the United States uh, with the state as the different states as the puzzle pieces, uh, but with different ethnicity groups uh, help build America. I mean, the, the couple down the middle is putting the state of Texas in, and then you see la people climbing ladder of success to help build this country, and you can see We the People proclamation on one side. But, but again, this kind of points to our, what our country stands for, you know, the success through diversity. Another outstanding painting that we have is just amazing with the complex symbolism that it has. It just seems to be packed with many different images. Well, the focus is the tree in the middle. And then again, climbing the ladder of success uh, on top of the tree is the, the American flag with uh, a big star in the middle. But the diversity come in in the branches. You see Buddha, you see uh, uh, a four-leaf clover, uh, basically even Halloween, and just a variety of uh, different cultures uh, hanging on the branches. Uh, but, but again, we, for this contest, we, we, we asked the artists to explain a little bit what they drew, and, and that's how I was able to tell you what they say. Uh, but on top of that, we also have some very young painters that are actually winners. We have first grader here, we have a kindergarten here, and you can see the details of their paintings. So actually, this is for kindergarten always, all the way up to 12th grade. Well, it's an amazing exhibit. Uh, we really enjoy having um, all of these uh, art pieces here. I know that a lot of families, uh, people of all ages, uh, they stop, they take a look, they uh, enjoy looking at this exhibit, and so we're really proud to have this exhibit here. It will be on display at the Monterey Park Brugemar Library through the month of December. Um, Winston, did you have anything else to uh, add? Well, I w want to encourage people to come uh, look at the paintings. And now that I explained some of the artwork, what's behind uh, the paintings, uh, but one important thing is I, because uh, it's around election time and because of the theme, we do want to encourage people to go out to vote uh, on November 6th, a uh, couple of weeks. And if they 
have problem like me on some of the proposition. There are a lot of materials at the library. They can free materials at the library they have access to uh, that are put out by the League of Women Voters uh, to help them understand some of the propositions and maybe some of the issues. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you, Winston. Uh, thank you for all of your help with this art exhibit, and we really do thank the Chinese American Citizens Alliance for their support in, with these projects. Yeah, and if they're interested in entering the next contest, uh, we'll have the kickoff in November. Uh, so if they have any children, know of any children who are good in, with paintings, and I encourage them to, to, to find out more on our website, and it's on the display here. To uh, And then basically, they, they will have like about four months to do the painting. Well, we'll look forward to that exhibit too.